Welcome class back to chapter 8 rhythms originating in the atria. Today we'll talk about premature atrial complex and paramoxal atrial tachycardias. Premature atrial complex are PACs, P-A-C's as is called, are premature beats that are fired out by irritable atrial tissues before the next sinus beat is due. The premature P wave may or may not be followed by QRS depending on how premature the PAC is. If the PAC is very premature, it will not be conducted to the ventricle because it will arrive during the refractory period of the ventricles. If the irritable site is close to the SA node, the atrial P wave will look very like the P wave indicated by the SA node. The P wave of a PAC may be biphasic, meaning partially positive, partially negative. It may appear flattened, notched, pointed, or lost in the preceding T wave. PACs can occur at any rate. Its regularity will be determined as saying regular but interrupted by a premature beat, hence why the name is premature atrial complex. As we stated earlier, P waves are shaped differently from that of the sinus P waves. Your PR interval is still within normal range. It's anywhere from 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. Your QRS is less than or equal to 0.12 seconds. Your QRSs may be absent after a non-conducted PAC, which we'll talk about further along in this lecture. Some of its causes of a PAC may be due to medications such as stimulants, caffeine, bronchial dilators, tobacco, tobacco, hypoxia, or heart disease. Some of the adverse effects of a PAC can be patients usually have no ill effects from occasional PACs, but can lead to other arrhythmias if the if you signs are early enough of congestive heart failure. Treatment, there usually isn't any treatment, but if they do show early signs of congestive heart failure or CHF, the patient is then given digitalis or a calcium channel blocker or a beta blocker, or they may be put on oxygen, or they might have to omit stimulants such as tobacco, caffeine, and you know, those things. This is what a PAC looks like a premature atrial complex. So basically, we're looking for the premature beat that happens in a PAC. So if you're looking at it, it looks like a normal sinus rhythm, well, a rhythm going on in the atria where you do have your normal P waves followed by a QS. But if you look at this particular rhythm right here, as you can see, you have your P, Q, R, S, then you have your T, T, and then P, and you have your Q, R, S, T, it's kind of inverted. So basically, you're looking for a premature beat with a funny looking P, which there's your funny looking P. It doesn't look like the rest of the P's that are falling into line. Next, we'll talk about non-conductive PACs. A premature P that is not followed by a QRS complex is what we call a non-conductive PAC. A non-conductive PAC occurs very early and close to the T wave of the preceding beat. Only a P wave may be seen with no QRS after it, appearing as a pause. This type of PAC can be called either a non-conducted or blocked. 
once more again, I'll say it again. This particular type of PAC can either be called a non-conducted or blocked PAC because the P wave occurs too early to be conducted out. <clears throat> and this is what a non-conductive PAC looks like. So if we take a look, we see our P, P, and then right here you have a T, and then you have a P, but no QRS. And then there you go with a P again. So it kind of looks like a pause. So it's right there. Then it goes back to saying P, 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 P. That's what we call a non conducted PAC when you have a T on P effect, where the P and the T almost are almost up on each other. And it's not followed by QRS. Just a note, always remember this, non-conducted PACs are the more, most common cause of otherwise unexplained pauses. So if there's a pause that's not explained, nine out of 10, it's a non-conducted PAC. Next, we'll talk about paramoxyl atrial tachycardia or PATs. Paramoxyl tachycardias are sudden bursts of PACs in a row. are a sudden burst of PACs that absurd the underlying rhythm and then becomes its own rhythm for only a period of time. The term paramoxyl refers to a rhythm that starts and stops suddenly. The PAC that indicates it must be seen or PAC PATs, I'm sorry, PATs resemble sinus tachycardias but with a faster heart rate. To diagnose a PAC, PAT, the PACs that indicate it must be seen. PATs have a very rapid atrial rate, so much so that the AV node begins to filter some of the impulses coming to it. By doing so, it protects the ventricles from excessively rapid rates. So the criteria for a PAT are your rate will be anywhere from 60 to 250 beats per minute. Regularity basically is regular with a pause. Um, your P ways you'll have they're different from sinus P's, meaning they'll be abnormal due to the fact that they are firing from the atria instead of from the SA node. Your PR interval will still would be within normal range, anywhere from 0.12 seconds to 0.20 seconds. Your QRS will be less than or equal to 0.12 seconds. Your causes are pretty much the same as a PAC, due to the fact that PATs are just a set of PACs in a row. A sudden start or stop of a row of PACs is what we call a PAT. Some adverse effects can be decreased cardiac output. Treatments for PATs are digitalis, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, um, oxygen, effective cardioversion if patient is unstable and they have reoccurring PATs. In order to diagnose a PAT, the PAC that indicates the PAT must be seen. A PAT is simply a run of three or more PACs together in a row and your T waves that changes shapes when the QRS doesn't is hitting a P wave inside of it. 
so you'll have that T on P kind of looking effect because there's a P hidden within the T wave. Let's take a look at a PAT. So as we can see from this diagram here that we have, because remember it's an absorption, so it just takes over for a brief moment in time. So we're trudging along and we have our P's, then all of a sudden we have a branch of PACs back to back to back, which makes a PAT. And then it goes back to normal. So regularity, as far as writing it out, it's regular but interrupted. I'm sorry, it's regular, sorry. Regular, 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 regular. It's just regular. So your regularity is just regular. <clears throat> if you have any questions, and this concludes your lecture on PACs and PATs, if you have any questions, please feel free to text or message me and I'll be happy to answer all questions. Tomorrow's lecture will be on atrial flutter, AFib, and SVTs. Thank you and have a nice day.